we would listen to, to pregame mixes, you know, my freshman and sophomore year, and they would be the same thing over and over, over, um, and not very hype music. You know, when you're trying to get ready for a football game, you want to listen to something that's you know up tempo and things like that, things that get you ready to play. Um, and that wasn't the case my freshman and sophomore year. My guys knew, a couple guys knew that I did music, um, and came up to me and asked me, hey, is there anything we could do about the music for pregame? Uh, so I got with the media guys and the guys on the stadium staff and things like that and kind of went by every, every position group and asked them, you know, two or three songs that they wanted to hear. Uh, so it starts, it started out with just playing the songs for when they came out of the tunnel. And then it turned into, you know, a full-on mix for, you know, the entire pregame warm-up. when you're doing a DJ set. When you know you have a crowd, but when we're on the field, I, it's, it's non-stop. I try to keep it going high energy the whole time. After a long practice, I'll come home and make a couple beats. Uh, just as simple as that. Just come home and it's, it's a release for me, uh, putting what is on my mind on a keyboard and just playing and uh, doing my own thing just for a little minute is relaxing to me. Well, my dad um, played football. You know, he played a couple years in the league. Um, it was just a big deal for me to um, to try to you know be as close to him as I could. Um, so you know, he was a coach. As soon as I was old enough to play, uh, I wanted to get on the team. Uh, not only because that was my dad, because uh, I love football. I love being around it. We would always watch it together. Allen's gonna throw, looking right toward the sideline. Wants Cornelius completed midfield, slips a tackle. Jared at the 30. They're trying to drag him down from behind, and they'll track him down at the 50. Yeah, my mom and dad always have this thing going where my mom says she, I get the music from her. My dad says I get the football from him. I chose Arkansas simply because I wanted to play LSU every year. Um, they didn't think I was good enough to play football. They wanted me to gray shirt. Uh, they, they had offered a couple guys ahead of me where they thought they were better than me. Um, so I wanted to play LSU every year. They fake it to Walker, give it to Cornelius on an end around. He's got open field. Cornelius breaks a tackle. Touchdown, Arkansas! I wanted to go somewhere where I was a part of a family, not just a football team. Um, and being, being a part of a group of coaches and a staff like, like this one, you know, being able to just to go in and walk in your head coach's office, that doesn't happen everywhere. Being able to talk to your position coach at any time, call him, just go in his office, that doesn't happen often. So um, the, the family vibe that you get here was one that I didn't get anywhere else. Um, just, just I felt like it was a whole bunch of guys that had my best interest in heart and not just theirs. So this is why I chose Arkansas. He is, you know, a kid that I recruited from day one. Uh, he's been a part of, you know, our family here, but also our family at home, really close with his mom, his dad, have a tremendous relationship with him, his grandmother, you know, all the people back there in Shreveport, we had, we're, we're real close. I've been through some injuries, I've been through a couple seasons where I didn't get to play the entire, uh, the entirety of the season, but um, I think that's helped me grow. Um, I wouldn't change anything that's happened over these seasons, um, even though I haven't played you know, a couple games that I wanted to really play in. Um, I think they've all helped and made me into who I am today.